This video presentation is on step down operation of single phase to single phase base type cycloconverter. In step down operation, output frequency is less than supply frequency, and line or natural commutation in step down operation is sufficient. The working of single phase to single phase base type cycloconverter is simple to obtain positive output if positive supply is available, activate thyristors P1 and P2 for negative output N1 and N2. If supply is negative, positive output is required, fire P3 and P4. For negative output, fire N3 and N4. Let us try to understand how switches are going to be fired, different set of thyristors are going to be fired for obtaining step down operation. This is a typical input and output for step down operation when output frequency is half of the supply frequency and this is when output frequency is one third of supply frequency again this is just for representation purpose to understand how we are going to fire different set of thyristors but this is not the actual output of cyclo converter in step down operation we can see that to obtain one cycle of output n cycles of input are required when output frequency is half of the supply frequency n is equal to 2 so to obtain one cycle of output two complete cycles of input are required when f0 is equal to one third of fs n is equal to 3 therefore to obtain one cycle of output three cycles of inputs are required next output will be positive for first n half cycles of input and for next n half cycles output will be negative in this case n is equal to 2 for first two half cycles of input this is first half cycle this is second half cycle so for first two half cycles output is positive and for next two half cycles output is negative similarly here for one two three three half cycles of input output is positive again output is negative for one two and three half cycles of input we can also see that output is positive but supply or the input changes from positive to negative and it must go back to positive again so within one half cycle of output there will be two switches from positive to negative and back to positive again in this case there will be one two three changes in input so there will be three switches so we can conclude that there will be a switching after every half cycle of input one half cycle of input is completed output does not change supply changes so there will have to be a switch since output does not change the switching will be between same thyristor groups so if output was positive output is still positive thyristors will be p and p so switching will occur between p and p group of thyristors but since output has input has changed from positive to negative different set of p group thyristors will be fired here p1 and p2 will be fired and here p3 and p4 will be fired so to obtain step down operation from a cyclo converter we have to perform switching every half cycle of input and that to between different thyristors of the same group that is from P to P or N to N. So this is what we have to remember to obtain positive output, positive supply P1, P2 thyristors. For negative output, positive supply N1, N2. For positive output, negative supply P3, P4. And for negative output and positive negative supply N3 and N4. And for step down operation, switching will occur after every half cycle of input 
between thyristors of same group and we can understand that for first n half cycles of input output will be positive for next n half cycles of input output will be negative let us try to understand this with an example let us try to obtain output frequency which is half the supply frequency so n is equal to 2 in this case when f0 is equal to 1 by 2 of fs we consider n is equal to 2 so there will be two cycles of input required for one cycle of output so we draw two cycles of input this is one complete cycle this is second complete cycle so there are two cycles of input output will be negative also so we are also drawing the negative supply vs now to proceed further we draw a reference output this is not the actual output of the circuit this is just for reference that for first n half cycles in this case for first two half cycles that is one this is first half cycle and this is second half cycle of input so first two half cycles of input output will be positive here it is positive and for next half cycles next two half cycles output will be negative so for one and two two half cycles of inputs output is positive again for one and two two half cycles of input output will be negative if we consider a firing delay of alpha okay first we have to understand that in the first half cycle from 0 to pi radian or 0 to 180 degrees output required is positive supply is also positive from our knowledge of the operation of the circuit we know that thyristors p1 and p2 must be fired when p1 and p2 are fired this is the direction of current output voltage and current will be positive now if we consider a firing delay of angle alpha the output will look like this the output will start after a delay of alpha degrees output will resemble the input because in this case v0 is equal to plus vs we also consider that load is inductive and when the load is inductive the output voltage will go a little bit negative why because the current load current will not jump to a high value instantaneously it will rise to high value gradually after firing at an angle alpha it will go up to a maximum then it will gradually reduce as the voltage is also reducing it will gradually reduce but will not go to zero at pi radius it will go to zero at some angle beta which is the extension angle which is greater than pi as soon as the current becomes zero there will be no flow of current so the output voltage v naught will be zero so this is the case if the load is inductive and firing angle is alpha firing delay is alpha now remember in the next half cycle from pi to 2 pi radian or 180 degrees to 360 degrees output is again positive output required is positive because for two half cycles of input we have to obtain positive output so output required is positive but the supply is negative since the supply is negative output required is positive we fire thyristors p3 and p4 as soon as thyristors p3 and p4 are fired this is the direction of current current and voltage will be positive again but this is discontinuous operation where next firing will occur at angle pi plus alpha and this pi plus alpha angle is greater than beta therefore from beta degrees to pi plus alpha degrees there will be 
no current because current has already become zero at beta degrees and there is no set of thyristors working between beta to pi plus alpha degrees therefore current will be zero and output voltage will be zero so when output required is output frequency required is half the supply frequency n is equal to 2 for there will be two positive pulses of output first and then two positive pulses of negative are required so we require now a negative pulse of output supply is positive so we fire for negative output and positive supply with fire thyristors n1 and n2 when we fire thyristors n1 and n2 to output voltage and current will be negative this is how the output voltage will look like right this is reverse of the output again the next half cycle of input from 3 pi to 4 pi radian we have to obtain negative output supply is also negative in this case so we fire thyristors n3 and 4 and this is the output voltage and current so this is the complete output voltage and output current of cyclo converter when we are working in step down mode and output frequency is half the supply frequency and that too when the mode of operation is discontinuous. Let us try to recall and remember or summarize the operation of cyclo converter. When output frequency is half the supply frequency we consider n is equal to 2 so we consider n is equal to 2 so when n is equal to 2 there will be two pulses of output which are positive and two pulses of output which are negative so we will have to obtain to positive pulses to negative pulses so when positive pulses are required thyristor groups p are fired when negative pulses are required n group thyristors are fired in this duration when two pulses of supply uh, two positive pulses of output are required supply becomes positive and negative so thyristors group between same group thyristors p and p we have to make a switch from P1, P2 to P3 and P4. Similarly, when negative pulses are required, thyristors group are N. Supply is again positive for half of the time and negative for half of the time. So thyristors N1, N2, N3, and N4 are fired. We can also obtain continuous current, continuous load current. In that case pi plus alpha will be equal to beta so pi plus alpha is equal to beta so as soon as thyristors p1 and p2 turns off next set of thyristors p3 and p4 are activated in that case output will look like this output current is a bit different as from discontinuous current operation in discontinuous current operation current rises gradually due to inductive nature of the load goes to a maximum and drops to zero and then it stays at zero because no thyristors is working no thyristors are working at that time so current is discontinuous in this case current again rises gradually due to inductive nature of the load but as before it becomes zero next set of thyristors are fired so it rises further to a higher value and when next set of thyristors are fired then it goes to zero and again instantly start rising in the negative direction again before it could become zero next set of thyristors are fired so it rises again in the negative direction and becomes higher than the previous negative value so this is step down operation in continuous current mode for step down operation when output frequency is one third of the supply frequency then n is equal to 3 so there will be three positive pulses of output 
followed by three negative pulses of output. For positive pulses, P group thyristors are fired. For negative pulses, N group thyristors are fired. For discontinuous current operation, pi plus alpha will be greater than beta. So this is the output for one third supply frequency. So one, two, three supply uh, uh, cycles of input are required. There will be first three positive pulses of output, then followed by three negative pulses of output. As from our previous knowledge, for obtaining a particular type of output, positive for positive supply or positive or negative supply, we know which set of thyristors are to be fired. For continuous current operation, the condition is pi plus alpha is equal to beta. Again, in this case, first three cycles will be positive, and then first three pulses will be negative. Okay, and this is how the current will behave. It will rise. It will rise to a further higher value and it will rise further again before it becomes zero and uh, become uh, start rising in the negative direction this is the output of step down cyclo converter when f naught is equal to one fourth of fs so n is equal to four there will be four positive pulses of output then positive pulses of negative Pos uh, uh, negative pulses of output four positive pulses of output and four negative pulses of output so thyristors will fire from p1 p2 to p3 p4 p1 p2 to p3 p4 and this is the same operation but in continuous current operation mode here pi plus alpha is equal to beta hope that this video will help you in understanding the step down operation of a cyclo converter if you have any such uh, queries or questions, you can post that in comment section. Thank you for today. Enjoy the videos on this channel. Thank you.